a few days ago my friends showed me how you actually put your vote in for which champion you want to have reworked. Like if, if this friend of mine hadn't specifically told me to go check it out and to go to this very certain tab in the clients that I had to specifically look for, I would never have found it. I voted for Udyr, I'm pretty sure. I was considering to vote. I was considering between Udyr or Shyvana, but I ended up voting for Udyr. When do we see the inf infamous Morgana jungle again? The Morgana jungle is gonna appear when you expect it the least. Let's see. Top is pressuring, mid is getting pressured, bot lane is trading a lot. I'm getting stressed watching bot lane. Okay. Poppy support paying off. Double kill. Boom. Great. It might actually not be Poppy's fault. It could just as well be Jin's, but I'm not surprised it happened down bot lane. Both me and Celia have been full playing. Bot to top. She walks in the river. We're fighting on the crap, but it seems like she's giving me the crap for free. She's just spacing. This guy's wave is pushing out. I can make my way to top, come behind him and kill him. He just watered in the river, I believe. Kill boss. Nice. I am pretty strong in the fight, but Jin has boots and Samira has Vamp Sept and Doran's Blade, so fighting bot does not sound very tempting right now. This guy is dead. I don't know why Jin is so bad. Like him and Poppy are the two ones ruining the game. Why is he the one being negative? If anything, it should be the rest of us getting trolled right now. I can easily become really strong in this game, but if they keep dying bot for fun, it's gonna be really hard for me to carry against Samira. Samira is such a broken champion, so if she gets too many kills, it's kinda doomed. Okay, 700 gold. Not bad. If Jin calms down a bit and stops ending, I actually think I can carry this game. But it does require my bot lane to stop the trolling, because both of them are not really playing the game right now. We look, Malphite, after enemy Crux. I just want to make sure I keep farming, I get as many resources as possible. It's really important that I get very big and strong this game so I can carry. Be a pretty free killer, doesn't look like he wants to hold out. Hand. Okay, I actually wanted to hand over the kill, but I got it with W. I got a substantial lead up to Lia 2. They really need to stop dying though. I don't know why they're fighting 2v2. They just don't want to win. They actually just don't care. Let's see what the heck Rim can do. That's one. Oh, I need to get out, it should be fine. Uh, this guy is really not fine. Well, as I said, I am monster strong, but I need my team to help just a little bit for me to be able to carry. I'm a bit scared of fighting Samira without my ult. If I have ult, I can probably almost burst her down. Like, I won't be able to full on burst her because she has a model shield bow, but I can do a lot. This could be a decent fight. Yep, let's go. They're overextending. Very nice. Can we get Talia too, please? We have Jin ult. Not gonna be needed, I guess. Alright, nice. Winnable. So in base now, I can get Sterex and I can get an old magic mantle. Now I'll, I'll be good to go. Main focus is killing Samira. I just need to make sure Samira doesn't get out of control in fights. But if she gets a good build off, she's gonna kill everyone. Not entirely sure what I wanna do with this null magic, honestly. So I'll figure it out soon enough. It could be a stone plate, potentially. Gargoyle stone plates. I could also just sit on the null magic and now get a death stance. I think death stance would be pretty huge for me, honestly. Even GA might be worth considering. I would like enough gold for BF if possible. If I have BF for the Drake fight. It's a bit of a greedy base, I gotta admit, but 
I need to be as strong as possible for this next fight so I can carry. Uh, get my BF. If I can get red too, I have everything off. And I have two and a half items. A little 13 Hagrim with red buff. I, I can carry this. I just need red and then I'll carry. Wait and see. Please don't fight right now. Just give me one second, friends. Go. This fight is actually very easy. Samira is just on the side, she can't do anything. They are taking such a bad fight. Maybe I ran it down. Maybe Samira ran it down. Okay! Hey, it's nice! Easy game, easy life, let's go! Okay, I'll clear out two pod camps and base. Look at my seers count too. Most farm in the game. <laughs> I can basically pick whichever carry I want and just kill them in two seconds. Uh, Samira and Talia both have no flashes now too. Talia has Ludens only. And I have three items. I'm almost four levels up on this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see potential here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're talking. Baron, come Baron. Should be free Baron for us. Nice! Let's go team! Let's go! We got this! Very winnable game. Some damage on Baron would be appreciated, but I guess killing Syndra doesn't hurt. Yeah, nice. Diana is actually godlike now, what a comeback. I will get stone blades. I don't I'm not sure if we can end with this Baron. Okay, we ended with the Baron because they just surrendered. 10 0 4, 200 CS Hecarim. 10 CS per minute Hecarim. Let's go. We carried. Yes. <laughs> Good times. That was a great game. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I actually managed to carry that. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. When I, when I wrote in chat that I'm going to carry, I... <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure if I could bring it home, but we actually made it. Let's go! This champion! This champion is so much fun. Maybe I should play some more Hecarim, actually. This champion is insane.